Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart where we learn about anything and everything heart related. Today, I will be sharing my process of academic writing, specifically how I managed to write up my dissertation within 3 months. I started writing my dissertation back in March just before lockdown started as it started becoming clear that clinical research was going on hold to focus our attention on combating the pandemic. This meant that I would not be able to complete recruitment for my research study. Fortunately, I had enough data to analyse and start the writing up. Although trying to compile everything which I have done over the last three years was difficult, I quickly realised that having written up some of my chapters and submitted to various journals was a huge help in getting the backbone of the dissertation. So how did I manage to write up the 328 pages full of words and figures within the 3 month period? Let me share some tips which I learned that helped me. I will divide the tips into early, middle and late stages of my PhD journey so hopefully it will be relevant to anyone pursuing or planning to pursue a PhD. Firstly, agree on an outline. During the early stages of my PhD, I agreed with my supervisor a rough outline of the chapter list for my PhD. Ultimately, the chapters which were agreed on was quite different from the final chapters, but the general flow of the idea was similar. This really helped guide me throughout the years as I have had a rough idea of how the dissertation will end up looking like in the end. Secondly, collating references. As you are in the process of writing the protocols for your research, collating a list of references is very important. This will definitely come in handy when you get to the writing stage as a lot of time can be wasted trying to look for references which you've seen before. A good reference manager is important but being organised and sorting your references out is probably more critical to reduce the time wasted on hunting for the references. Middle stage, publish papers. Writing up papers for journal articles to report parts of the studies on my research was really useful to me during the writing phase of the dissertation. This is because when I wrote the paper for a journal, the rough format of the chapter is within the paper, just a little briefer. By responding to reviewers' comments in the submission process, I have learned to defend my decisions made within the studies. These made the writing process a little simpler as my thought processes are clearer. Therefore, I would highly recommend submitting parts of a dissertation, if possible, to journals for publications. It would also increase your publication numbers, so why not? Secondly, organising data. Ensure that all your data required for analysis is stored safely and in an easy to find format. Naming the databases based on each study with version number is probably the easiest way to go. Making sure that the raw data is backed up and any further iterations should be a copy of the original. This will allow you to backtrack should there be any errors so you can still correct it. Having folders within folders within folders is my way of doing it, which I found quite useful. In the late stage, firstly setting targets. I set myself small achievable targets daily to help me write. On days where I am working and cannot spend the whole day writing, I will have smaller targets like designing the figures for the chapters or planning the subheadings for the next chapter. This would make me feel like I am achieving something and chipping away at bits and pieces of the work required. Setting reasonable targets also ensure that I feel accomplished throughout, keeping me motivated. I also set a much larger target alongside it so I can keep track and ensure that I finish on time. Lastly, just start writing. The starting is always the hardest. What really worked for me was starting with the easiest chapters to write, the ones which I have already published. Just having a basic structure to the chapter makes the writing a lot easier. Adding more content into the already present skeleton is a lot easier than trying to think to write from scratch. When it comes to the chapters which I have to write from scratch, I just start typing into the document whatever thoughts that come to my mind, not even bothering about referencing as I find that looking for references disrupt my train of thought. This first draft is normally what I use to guide the structure of how the chapter will flow, fine-tuning smaller parts as I go along. 
These were some tips which I have learned throughout my PhD journey, so hopefully it will be useful to you at whichever stage of your academic path. Please share in the comment down below if you have any other tips which might be useful to other PhD students. If you find this interesting, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me.